tell us what mm -hmm. was the um, what was the uh, impetus of the product? How did it start? So Halvard is basically a local recommendation engine powered by you and your friends. Um, so we make it extremely easy, which we'll see in a second, for you to rate the places you like. And based on your rating, we give you recommendations for other places you would love and make it very easy to show with your friends so you can also get the recommendation from your friends. So you can think about it basically as sort of Netflix for places or yep. Pandora for places. Uh, and that's exactly the experience I had when using it. It felt like Netflix, felt like a very modern product. Um, talk about uh, building a product like this that is not cookie cutter, Google, let's optimize for the you know certain shade of blue. Mm -hmm. Has something changed in Google that they allowed you to make something that is under the Google search umbrella, right? Certainly here it is, we're bringing it up. Um, but that looks a lot different. And just as an example, uh, here, it says uh, Sweet Tooth, 493 ratings, 120, 32 reviews. And I see I have all these cards here. And if I wanted to, I'm logged in on your account. Mm -hmm. But let's say I just said, hey, I love the Shangri-La, or Shut Us on the Beach is a great hotel. And uh, 334 people, wow, that many people have rated it. And let's say you rated it five stars. I'm going to click on it. It's this beautiful animation where it flips over. You say what you love about it. You type it in. You give it some very quick, uh, either happy or not happy binaries. Uh, you know, toggles, and you publish it, boom, the page mm -hmm. didn't even reload. It's animated and fun. Um, how did you uh, get this launched inside of Google? We just wanted to have some fun. Uh, I think Google realized over the years that no, not everything is search. Um, right. And some UIs, especially UI like this, justify doing something different. We want it to be engaging. We want it to be fun. Yeah. We want you to rate a lot of places and quickly sort of set your preferences so we can start getting you, giving you recommendations. So, um, you know, the original aspiration, we started basically with uh, two 20% projects. Yep. One was for the recommendation engine itself. A bunch of engineers just built it over the weekend. Let's see what we can hack based on data that we have, what kind of collaborative recommendations we can give you in places. And then another group of engineers just built over the weekend a prototype of that UI. Let's build engineers. We didn't have any UI official person involved in yeah. it. Let's build some fun UI to engage you how and make the, the trading fun. How big, were the each, how big was each team? Very small. The initial 20% projects were built by two engineers each. Two engineers each? Yes. And then so we just you know, did the roadshow in Google for a few weeks. Everybody that saw both demos loved it. Mm. And we just combined those. And Hotpot came along a few months after. So Two teams of two, and you come up with some great stuff, mm -hmm. and then you go on a road show inside of Google. Mm -hmm. Explain to me what that means. I actually like to think Google in many ways is similar to the outside world, and being on both sides of the of the fence, um, yeah. it's very similar. You, if you have an idea, what do you do when you're outside? You, you know, you don't have any angel money. You just start being a demo, find an engineer that is excited about it excite him with just the vision, get him to build a demo, build a demo, and then start exciting other people. Excite engineers, excite investors, which are basically decision makers. Mm. So, you know, we showed it to Marisa, to Larry, to Sergey, they loved it. Mm. Get some internal momentum, get excitement, and one by one just get more enthusiasm and more resources and it's basically funding and find a way to actually make this a reality. So, what is the, what is the process because I'm sure it's fascinating to people how a big company works. And it seems like Google is working better and better. Because there's also, was it, is it the Find? Is the other one that just launched another product inside of Google, the image search? Or is it Find? Anyway, there's another product that's uh, very unique looking. Somebody in the chat room will remind me. Um, how long is it between when you get Marissa and then you get to like Larry and Sergey? Mm -hmm. what, what is that process like? Do you just email Marissa? You, you say, hey, you know, can I show you something? Anyway, and, it's really, you know, like the market. If you, if, if you know people, that yeah. helps. But even if you don't know, Larry and Sergey still have, to the date, a product review every Friday where they meet people that want to do stuff and give their uh, opinions and feedback. So that's always an opportunity to show new stuff, to right. get them excited. Um, so it's, a, it's everything from one-on-ones to cafeteria talks to giving presentations to group of engineers. Wow. Everything, you, again, everything you do out there, you also do in there, because it's, it's an internal market. People yeah. will not do this, this top down, but yeah. in the end of the day, it's a lot of bottom up innovation. So if you want people to do something, you have to get them excitement, excited about it.